Hey! I just had a sneezing spell, so <clears throat> hopefully that'll stop so I can do this video. Uh, I don't know. Must be allergies, but anyway. I got some stuff to show. This is sort of like a rock and metal, sort of mixed. Um, I'd like to do, uh, when I do my videos, I like to sort of categorize them as much as possible, even though I like pretty much all kinds of stuff. I like to keep my black and death metal separate from my quote-unquote heavy metal, hair metal, that kind of stuff. And I know there's a lot of people out there, uh, and maybe people that even watch, that uh, don't consider certain types of bands actual metal. Um, and I totally understand that. Um, because, you know, there's so many subgenres. Um, and I have my opinions, just like everybody else does. Um, but anyway, stop yakking here. Uh, first thing I want to show is a book that I picked up recently. The Necromonic, Necromonicon. I can't even say that. Necromonicon. And this, I bought this used. It's the, uh, it's the Book of the Dead, more or less if I'm not mistaken here. And uh, I just wanted it. I didn't have it. I have the Satanic Bible and the Satanic Rituals and all that stuff. So I thought I'd get this. Just to have. I'll probably read it. Skim it. Uh, and then this I picked up yesterday. This is the new reissues. The deluxe versions uh, that's been released in North America. They've been out for quite a while, a lot of other places, but this is the first time that they've been um, released in North America. Um, I'd like to get, I think there's the first, or I don't know if it's the first three, but I know they have um, the first album and Paranoid and Master of Reality, because I've seen those. Uh, I'll eventually get all of those, hopefully. Uh, and I'm hoping that they'll release all of them under deluxe versions. Um, this is what this says here. I can hold on to it. This was the hype sticker. So, um, and it has like a little, I'm not going to say the word that I hate. Um, insert. There we go. has an insert. And it has, uh, it has some pictures, uh, some photographs in here that I'd never actually seen. Um, and then it also has, there's one right there. That's sort of a cool one. Um, it has, uh, the first disc is the original album uh, remastered um, from, that's the 2012 uh, studio remaster. And then the second disc is all bonus material. And uh, so the second disc is, um, it has Evil Woman on there, which was the B-side of the first single that wasn't, that didn't, did not appear on the album originally. So you have, um, you have the, that song, and then you also have the uh, alternate version of that song. Um, then there's, uh, they have some instrumentals, some studio outtakes of all the songs that's on the album. So that's Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. If, you, if you've never heard this album, you really need to hear it because there wouldn't be metal today if this album didn't exist. I mean, between Led Zeppelin's first album or two and Black Sabbath's first album or two, they, they laid it out for other bands to be influenced by, so... That's, a, that's an ongoing argument. A lot of people, you know, have their opinions on that, too. Um, speaking of metal today, this is uh, the new Abbath that just came out. And I just went to, to buy the standard version. I didn't know that there was a deluxe version like this. But they had one copy, and there's an Abbath pen. It came with that, and it came with... There's the other side, and then it came with this. It's a, a patch, and then 
right here is a wristband. I might want to take it out. You know what a wristband looks like. Um, and then it has an insert with the t-shirts and stuff that you can get. And then it has, there's the CD. And I guess this version has two bonus tracks on the CD. And I was so waiting for this to come out. This came out on Season of Mist. Um, because I, you know, I like Immortal quite well. And as far as I'm concerned, and probably a lot of other people feel the same way, uh, you know, Abbott is Immortal in a lot of ways. I mean, and I guess there's going to be, there's another, uh, the other band members, or the guitarist rather, I think has his own solo outfit or band outfit which i haven't heard anything of that yet but i i wouldn't mind hearing it and i guess after this album was released and after the tour before the tour had started a month before the tour had started uh the drummer and the guitarist quit so uh i guess the tour is still underway or or it's getting ready to be i don't know if it started yet um but he must have had a, a new drummer. The guy called um, Creature had quit the band. So anyway, that's the new Abbott. And I listened to this. It's classic. You know, it sounds just like classic Immortal to me. It's very, very good. I recommend you pick it up if you can find it. I'd love to have the vinyl. I know it's on silver vinyl and it's on, uh, I think, a couple other colors. I'd like to get a hold of that. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, here's a CD I picked up at Goodwill, the best of the Chocolate Watch Band. And this is a band that uh, was on the Nuggets um, 60s Garage Rock compilation. And, um, you know, if you like Garage Rock, that's a good band to check out. Uh, this one is Poison. And this is a little less known one. It's called um, Power to the People. This was a later one where they were trying to, at least in my opinion, they were trying to go uh, like modern rock, alternative, grunge, you know, a lot of bands in the 90s that were quote unquote hair metal bands or what I call heavy metal bands were trying that formula because they just couldn't sell records anymore. Uh, this is Open Up and Say Ah, censored cover, which is hilarious that it's censored. Um, I didn't have this on CD. So, I went ahead and picked that up. Used. I have the vinyl, but just to get it all on my iPod, I mean, you know. And like I said, I know a lot of uh, metal heads out there, they don't really consider Poison and bands like that metal. I totally understand that because, you know, when I think of metal, I think of, I think of black metal and death metal and even thrash. Uh, to me, that's true metal. Um, back in the 80s, I listened to all the regular, you know, Molly Crew and Great White and all that stuff. Um, but then I got to a point where I wanted something heavier, you know, so I started getting into uh, Merciful, Merciful Fate, King Diamond, and, uh, you know, Megadeth and Slayer and all that stuff. Um, so it's okay. Everybody can have their opinions. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I keep bringing that up. This is the magazine I picked up, 101 Greatest American Rock Songs. And this is a variety. It's got Kurt Cobain on the front and Avis on the back there. This is an interesting book. I mean, it sort of it sort of jumps all over the place. There's Metallica. And um, it has pretty much everyone you can think of in here uh, is represented as far as... Um, I mean, I, it's sort of a cross mix of, uh, here's Lou Reed, let's get a picture of him. Um, but anyway, this is a recent magazine, if you see it out and you're interested, you can pick it up. So there's that. Oh, I want to show this one picture. i just seen, I think that, I don't think I'd ever seen this picture before. This is, uh, Peter Chris putting on his makeup. I thought that was really cool. And, uh, I think Gene's in here somewhere too, for all you Kiss fans out there. Here he is, right here. 
That's an early picture of Gene. I can hold on to it. So, I have nowhere to put anything. Yeah, my nose is really bugging me. Okay, I went to uh, record shopping Saturday and went to three record stores. Um, three that we normally go to in Cincinnati. And um, <clears throat> picked up quite a few. Um, found a lot of good stuff. And was, uh, as usual, trying to be selective and not buy everything in the store. But um, uh, brought a couple guys with uh, with uh, me and Kat that, we, that I work with. And um, they had the same problem I did. You know, they just spent too much, but it's easy to do. Sorry about the snorting and stuff, but my allergies are killing me. Uh, this record I'd never seen, and I don't know how I'd ever not seen it. It's called The Great Sabantini Present Dog Years. And this was in the used metal section, one of the stores we went to. Uh, how could you not want to get this? I haven't listened to it yet, but, I mean, there's one of the labels. The label's the same on both sides. And it's sort of like an orange orange juice vinyl there. Yeah, I'm really curious to, to see what this sounds like, because I don't know if, if the little monster on the cover, if he's the vocalist or what, but... That would be great. You know, that sort of reminds me of a of Cookie Monster, and I could see it being death metal in that style of, of singing. So, yeah, that's really cool. And I'm trying to set this aside. I've uh, been picking up a lot of these as I see them, or ever so often I've been starting picking them up. Motorhead, Iron Fist. This is a reissue, 180 gram. And... I've been wanting to pick them up anyway. It's not just because Lemmy had passed away. I mean, that sort of makes me want to get them more, but I, I wanted them anyway. That's an awesome in, in, insert on the sl or in sleeve, rather. I can't even talk. This is 180 gram, and this is, like I said, it's just black, black vinyl. It has the bronze label there. It has the motorhead symbol on the, on the back side. You can see that. So I showed uh, Rock and Roll recently, and then I got Iron Fist, and I have no sleep till Hammersmith, and uh, I have one more. No remorse. <clears throat> I need to get. Uh, I need to get all of them, but I want to get Ace of Spades, of course, and um, Bomber and Overkill. I'd like to get those. Um, this one I'd never actually heard this group, but I see quite a few people show it online. This is Revenge. And I really was surprised to see this because I just figured this one was a hard hard one to get. And maybe it is. I don't know. Um, there's the inner sleeve. And uh, I'm curious to check this one out. And it's uh, on clear vinyl. I don't know how rare this is. But, it, I mean, it's not about the rarity for me. It's about the music. Although... Uh, Certain records seem rare to me just because I can't get a hold of them, not because they were limited so much. But, yeah, I was really surprised to see this one, so. That's Revenge. Behold, Total Rejection. I think that's what that says. And, uh, maybe this originally came with a poster. Because I see this poster a lot, or maybe it's a similar poster of theirs. So anyway, that's, that was cool to find that. Uh, another one that I was sort of surprised to see, Coven. This is their, I think this is their third album. Uh, Coven was a band. To me, they sound like Jefferson Airplane. They were like an early, um, well, they were a pure satanic band, for, as satanic as you could be, I guess, at the time. Um, their first album was very notorious for that. Um, but like I said, it sounds like uh, Jefferson Airplane to me. Uh, it's good. I like it. I haven't listened to this one yet, but... You know they're a, they're like a coven, literally a coven of of witches or 
they're Satanists or, you know, whatever, which is fine by me. Uh, this one, uh, one of the guys I went with, um, seen a stack of records, uh, sort of a, a mixture of all kinds of stuff. I don't know if they were all singles or, no, I don't think they were all singles, but he'd said, have you seen that stack over there? And I went over there and looked and it's like, I was finding all kinds of stuff. And I found this, the cult love removal machine. And this is the single version. It has the LP version and then it has the extended version. And Wolf Child Blues is on here, which was never on an album recorded live in the studio on New Year's Eve, 1986. So, I mean, I, I like the cult a lot, so I had to I had to snatch that one up. That was cool. So I'm glad that uh, glad he's seen I'm glad he's seen that uh, stack of records because I uh, found found that in there. Uh, this is one I've been holding out on for a long time. I've seen it at the record fair, I've seen it here, seen it there. Went ahead and picked it up. Dockin'. This is their live one. It's uh, Beast from the East. And, uh, did I show the back? I think I did. It's a double album. And, there's the, just the flag there. Is it a double album? Yes, it's a double album. It's on Electra. Just has clear sleeves, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I've been holding out on this for a long time. I have, I think I have all the other Dokken ones that I want. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that this one pretty much got all the ones that I want caught up. And, and Dokken's a good band. I mean, you know, of course, all that's a matter of opinion, but I like them. This is a Steppenwolf record that I'd never seen. This was in the dollar band. This is called At Your Birthday Party. And it sort of opens like this. I thought that was sort of cool. Always pick up Steppenwolf albums. I think I think they're a very cool band. And this, you know, they're also another band that was credited with uh, the first band to ever use heavy metal in a lyric in Born to be Wild. Now, I know they were describing motorcycles pretty much, but... And I don't know if they were the, really the first band to use it. They probably were, considering it was in the 60s. But anyway, uh, this one I picked up in the dollar band as well. Pretty sure. Yeah, this was in the dollar band. The Who, Who Are You? Uh, and I might already have this. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not a big Who fan, but this is, uh, this is like in mint condition pretty much. I mean, it has a little crease right there. For a dollar, I figured if I didn't have it, you know, it's got Sister Disco on it. I like that song. Um, and Who Are You? I've heard that one, of course. Um, I'd like to get some of their early stuff, but, I mean, it, you know, I have to be in the mood for them. Uh, this is uh, ZZ Top Tres Hombres. Tres Hombres, is that how you say it? And uh, I've seen online recently that someone had recreated the centerfold, this meal right here. So... I've never seen the centerfold because I didn't have the album, so that made me want to try to find it. Of course, I was I was lucky enough to find it. This has the original sleeve. And it's just brown on the back, and I think I'm assuming this is their third album, but I don't know that for sure. I'm not real real good with their um, discography. And then I picked this one up too which I don't think I have this one, Tejas. Because uh, I have a lot of the other ones. But, you know, ZZ Top is, I mean, every song, as far as I'm concerned, that they do is good. This one folds out three times, I think, does it? Yes. Get all that there. That's before they had the, their signature beards that they have now. Let's see here how you get the vinyl out of this. It's just, uh, it's got custom sleeves on this one. Yeah, ZZ Top. It's got a inner sleeve here. I can hold on to it long enough. Got a cool picture there. And lyrics. So yeah, I have uh, Eliminator, which is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Afterburner. Um, Fandango. I think uh, Rio Grande Mud is the only Grand Mud is the only one I don't have. Um, 
but this one has um, I don't think any of these were singles on this one but anyway you can't go wrong with uh, good old ZZ Top uh, this one uh, one of the guys that we took with us he bought this um, a week or two before he found it somewhere I'd never seen it before and then I find it Savoy Brown looking in it's such an awesome cover there and uh, the back cover as well so yeah it's like oh god there's that record so I have to get it Savoy Brown was a um, 70s band I'm not real familiar with their music but I, the little bit that I am aware of I like or I know I like it so so there's that uh, and the last vinyl here is this was also in the was it in the dollar bin? I think it was. Ten years after Undead. I have a few ten years after records, and I really like them a lot. They're really, really good uh, 60s, 70s band. Sort of in the classic rock realm, I guess you might say. So that's all that I picked up. That's not all I picked up, but that's the majority of my rock and metal, if you want to call it that. I'm trying to clump all these together that I got um, in the last few so-and-sos i'll show you this too while we're at it this is a sign that uh picked up devil brand coffee wake the hell up i want to hang that in our kitchen that's where we're going to hang that when we move we're going to redo our kitchen and coffee and stuff so uh like and subscribe comment and, um, yeah, that's about it. So we'll see you. I don't know. I was going to say something. We'll see you in the next video. All right.